In this Sailing Doodles, Taylor does some boat yoga and we introduce you to the crew that's helping us get the boat back to the mainland. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby and Taylor as we sail around the Caribbean in our 1989 CT56. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this possible. In the previous video, we did some boat repairs and then jumped into the water in one of the deepest points of the ocean, the Puerto Rican Trench. This was day three of our 1500 mile sail back to the mainland on the Salty Dog Rally. In the past 24 hours, we covered about 150 miles. All right, a little pre-dawn spinnaker hoisting. Sun's not quite up yet. I think it's still another 10 or 15 minutes before it comes up. We probably could have sailed all night with the spinnaker up, but we didn't come across any squalls. But you know, the wind picked up right before we were going to bed anyway, 17, 18 knots, and want to leave it up just in case if, you know, we had to bring down quick. but. We're moving right along again, making six, six and a half knots. Uh, we only got like uh, 12, 13 knots. Well, there's my alarm. I was supposed to get up now, but I got up early to set the spinnaker. Should be a good day today. Wind turns a little east, picks up a little. We'll start moving pretty good, I hope. Man, I mean, it was yesterday was a great day. Hopefully today does the same thing. noon you've been sleeping all morning I woke up at 10. we uh the wind got a little shifty and and uh let off a little bit and we're rolling because of it but now it looks like it shifted back so we'll put the spinnaker back out mm -hmm. we are in the middle of day three not much going on today we've got the spinnaker up we've been averaging about 140 nautical miles a day which is not bad we're doing pretty good we were going a bit slow last night but it's just us and soulmate way off in the distance and the open ocean there's nothing else out here and it's pretty beautiful the water is actually it's so blue it looks purple it's crazy Well, gang, how's day three? It's good, it's going. Moving Not, a little slow, but yeah. enjoying the breeze. And David? Oh man, chilling, taking the weather, hanging out, looking at the pictures that just came in from the, the new boat that we're building. And uh, pretty excited. Hell yeah. yeah. On a longer passage like this, it's pretty important to kind of move a little bit every day. It's pretty easy to just sit in the cockpit and kind of be a little bit of a couch potato. So it's pretty important to kind of, you know, stay moving every day and not be so sedentary. And so I'm gonna try and do, get my body moving, do a little movement, because I'm starting to feel a bit blah and tired and lazy. So I'm gonna try and counteract that. The beast has awoken. <laughs> We've been really lucky to actually have some pretty good weather so far. We've been downwind all the way. No bad weather or anything. It's been light winds, but it's been freaking hot. Like you can probably see my face is red and I'm sweating. It's been hot every single day, but I would definitely rather take that over bad weather. I've just been kind of hanging out here. This has been my little spot for today. Just doing some writing, uh, listening to an audiobook, and playing some guitar. It's pretty nice to just mellow out and kind of, I guess, focus on yourself when you're out here. You've got nothing else to do. So it's been very peaceful and very relaxing so far. Part of the reason we left Caribbean behind and said so just staying down there for the season is because of the tropical storms and stuff and got to get out of there. Insurance is also another factor because of that same reason. But I don't know if that comes across on camera well, but you can see these huge swells. They never come across on video, but they're really far apart too. They're probably 10 to 15 seconds apart. 
So we just went over one about two or three seconds ago. And then the other one is, it might have been a little one right here, but you can kind of see this big swell coming here. That's being pushed down from, well, Tropical Storm Arthur, already happening in uh, the end of May. So headed out of here for those reasons. So we have these big swells coming in from the north, and then the wind waves coming in from the south. And uh, it's not really too bad of a ride, so it's, it's not that bad, honestly. But that's the swells. You think about it, the swells that were made by Arthur are made from the storm that's six or seven hundred miles that way and they're all coming down here which is still crazy think about the force behind some of those storms so the first couple days we got our kind of busy moving sails around and all that we kind of sort of halfway introduced you but <laughs> now we'll introduce you a little better so sydney sydney Payne. hey what? i'm sydney so where uh where are you from what's your story what's going on I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. In between the mix of jobs that I've had, I recently just moved to St. John in the Virgin Islands, and that's how I met Bobby and Taylor to come hop on the sailboat with them. So our mutual friend, I guess Sam, mm -hmm. said knew we were looking for somebody and contacted you? Yeah, I was just doing nothing really, and I figured that this would be a great opportunity to learn about sailing and then also just get on the water and have this experience and see what kind of adventure it was going to be like. We've been on the boat for an extra couple days, but we've been at sea for 50 something hours now. What do you think? Well, when we first left, I was really excited. I didn't know what to expect. Now I guess we're in day three and I'm just really relaxing. It's been really nice. We've been pulling up some sails here and there, but I'm getting my my sea legs worked out, doing some exercises and chatting with everybody. It's been a good time. Right, cool. Any uh, any seasickness or anything? Um, I felt like a little woozy at the beginning, but I put a patch on, so that's been helping so much. I can go up and down, stay stay down under, um, and I feel great. All right. Well, thanks for coming aboard. Thanks for helping us out. Sweet. And it's been great having you so far. So uh, it's been a good sail. Cool. All right. Let's go talk to Dave here in a second. That's our buddy boat ahead of us, uh, Soulmate. They're about four miles ahead right now. They started out this morning about 10 miles ahead. They motorcycled overnight. We're gaining on them. Yeah, we're catching up with them. I think we're doing like half a knot faster. So sometime tonight, we'll probably pass them. Uh, it depends on, on, the, on the weather tonight. They, they motorcycled last night, we just sailed. So they were about 10 miles ahead this morning. We're doing okay right now. There's like 16 to 17 knots winds. I saw 18 knots briefly. Which is okay. We were racing, we do it, but we'd be going fast enough with just a Genoa out, so why not? Uh, it'd be safer. So we're going to take down the uh, spinnaker and put the Genoa out. Uh, it'll be a little difficult with this much wind, but it'd be even harder if it was windier. So that's why we're going to do it now. Yep, yep. All right. Bye. All right, so once, wait, don't turn yet. Wait till we get ready. And then turn, you know, 20 degrees, 30 degrees to port. Just use the, uh, the minus gotcha. 10. And then I'll hold it there, and then when we're ready, you're gonna let the sheet out quick and we'll douse it. Three, two, one, let it out. amount of sail out for 19 knots of wind now so yeah, yeah. Did that. we're still doing seven knots yeah. all right so our other crew member you may recognize sailed on a high list with him that's right all right so this is david how you doing man hey i'm doing pretty good cool yeah. actually really good yeah it's good nice. to be out here huh nice to be aboard yeah i really love it so we sailed what in the Chesapeake? Mm -hmm. That was last July. Yeah, on yep. the Highless 48. July 4th, man. Yeah. That was great. We got cool. to see the fireworks. Right. That yeah, was fun. That was good really time. Fun. So what do you got going on? What are you doing these days? Well, uh, we're building a new boat, so okay. I'm pretty excited about that. You're getting your own boat. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's that's my my chief job at Highless. Right. <laughs> Just <laughs> to manage your own boat. Someone's got to buy the boat. Yeah. So you had a Highless 50. 54. And yep. you sold that, and now you're getting a brand new Highless 57. Yep. We're, we're building a new 57. It's going to be uh, making the rounds this year at the shows. Hopefully okay. we'll we'll still have shows this right. year. Yeah, I know, uh, right? Definitely, uh, hopefully, looking forward to Annapolis, and yeah. definitely Miami. So uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess uh, when you take the lead over it, August, you said? 
Uh, it'll be shipped in August, and okay. I think uh, commissioning will be done by by September. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. Well, so, man, uh, I'm gonna go sail on it. Yeah, no, you will. You will. <laughs> you definitely will. Man. All right, and you're also you also run the cutting room studios there in New York. Yeah, I okay. do that. That's my uh, that's full my time. other life. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and uh, well, thanks for getting permission from the wife to come down and sail with us. Oh yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> I'm, I'm Peggy's. Yeah, that's my chief my other chief job. Yeah, right. Peggy's husband. They're keeping her happy. <laughs> Hey. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to come sailing with you when you get the boat. You will, for sure. All right. All right well, thanks for coming. You got it. All right. So I go to help prep dinner, and uh, I'm bragging about how sweet potatoes are like my specialty. I love love to make them a special way, and so I go to go to do it and uh, cut it open. That's not a sweet potato. I think. Wait. Did you say Saint? I think Saint John has white sweet potatoes, but I'm not really sure if that's true. But either way, I don't think it's gonna work for what I want to do. So uh, no, no bueno. But I have no a bueno. different plan. Keep talking. Oh, did you say keep talking? Yeah. Oh. Don't look at me. I mean, a Mel still makes the catch. Yeah. No. Oh shit. It broke in half! <laughs> Gotta get more in. <laughs> but <laughs> that was karma. Yeah. That was karma. Oh no. So it's been a pretty good day. The winds were fairly light until about noonish or something like that. We uh, motor sailed a little, just sailed slow for a while doing between four and now, uh, you know, we motor sailed, we got up to seven, seven and a half. Then just after noon the wind started picking up. We had just the spinnaker out good day making uh you know six and a half seven knots in the afternoon around three or four in the afternoon the wind started picking up 14 15 16 knots okay great but then we were starting to see 18 19 knots we were hauling butt doing like eight and a half knots but ah uh, you know no no sense we're not in a hurry no need to put stress on anything so we uh pulled the spinnaker down now we have the Genoa out and the Mizzen out, um, a lot slower because these aren't really downwind sails you know but yeah you know, I mean still doing six and a half knots but Whatever, I'm not complaining about that. It's pretty nice out here. Don't see any squalls yet. Hopefully there aren't any. We'll leave the radar on tonight, and hopefully we have a good night of sailing and keep the speed up. The last few nights we've sailed every night, but it's been, you know, rolly and, and uh, slow. Uh, it'll be nice to have a good, nice, solid night of sailing. If you go to sailingdoodles.com, there's a link that'll take you to our Patreon page, and also there's a link to our merch store where you can buy lots of cool stuff, and our patrons get a 25% discount.